starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. move the barn into the next county. I just wanted to make sure he heard me. We thank thee, O oh Lord, for this, our daily bread. Amen. Brings you two gun marshal, enemy of the lawless, Jeff. Robin Hood of the Far West. Turn that down. He got me, sir. But don't let Jeff, him get to turn it down. Write it down. Never mind me. Get the marshal. Now there'll be no more radio. Gee, Gramps, what? Look, I told you to turn it down. You didn't pay no attention. Oh, that confounded thing has been busting my eardrums out. Now from now on, we're going to have a little peace and quiet. But, Gramps... Don't give me any argument. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Come on, laddie. What's going on? on it? What happened? Huh? You heard me. What's Jeff going to bed at 7 o'clock for? Well, how should I know? And who pulled out that plug? I did. That confounded thing is making me deaf. He ought to, he ought to know there's somebody else living in this house besides him. And you ought to know that he's a child and you're an adult. Huh? Now, just an hour ago, you gave him a bath that you spent the whole afternoon making. You can't give with one hand and, and take away with the other. It's, it's confusing to a child. What are you talking about? You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. Jeff blasts this radio every night of the week. Now, why just tonight should you pull out the plug? Well, I... I know, but Jeff doesn't. When you're young and healthy, you can't understand how a sore back can make an older person testy and, and irritable. What do you want me to do, get down my hands and knees and apologize? No, of course not. But he deserves an explanation. Children are also people. Now, he has a right to know why you did what you did, especially since he worships you so. Well, um, you tell him. Oh, I certainly will not. You started this, and you're going to finish it. Jeff! Jeff! Jeff, your grandfather's calling you. I'm in there! Come on out to the barn. i got something to show you. Jeff, hurry along. Your grandfather wants you. Go get it, Lassie. Go get it. Pick it up. Pick it here, Lassie. Pick it here. That's a good girl. 
Took you a long time to get here. What you gonna name him? Golly? You mean he make you mean he's mine? Well, if you want him. Oh, golly! You're beautiful. Just beautiful. You're the most wonderful coat in the state. Maybe even in the country. But you're the most wonderful coat in the whole world. Uh -huh. Pretty soon you'll get bigger. Then I'll be able to ride you and we'll go all over together. You're the best thing I ever had in my whole life. And you know what? I'm gonna call you Domino. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Just beautiful. names, like Blaze and Brownie, and, and then I thought of Domino. Do you like Domino for a name, Mom? Mm-hmm. Nice. Honest, though, Mom, don't you think Domino's terrific? Well, for the 124th time, yes, I think he's terrific. Who can enter him in the county fair? Uh, uh, Jeff, did you feed Lassie? Gosh, no, I forgot. I'll do it right now. Mom, how old's a racehorse? That's sort of like asking how high is up. Well, I mean, when can I race Domino? Oh, I don't know. Two years, I guess. Two years? Oh, Mom, I can't wait that long. Do you think maybe if I fed him a lot, I could race him in one year? <laughs> Two years pass pretty quickly, even for an impatient little boy. Uh -huh. Take you two years to grow up to be a big racehorse, but maybe if you eat a lot and we'll grow up real fast. All right, come on now, eat a little more. That's a fella. How about some water? You gotta drink a lot of water. It's good for you. Hi, Lassie, old girl. Well. Where's your partner? Left you alone for a while, huh? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Hold up the U.S. mail? <laughs> Here, just once. I guess Uncle Sam won't mind. Hi, Mr. Selsby. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Parcel pulls for your mom. Well, leave it there and come on over. I gotta show you something terrific. I always like to look at something terrific. Especially if it's a cold. How did you know? Well, you gotta get up mighty early to keep any secrets from the U.S. mail. <laughs> Isn't it terrific? Mm, not bad. Nice head. Good confirmation. Could be another man of war. Oh, no. He's not gonna be an army horse. He's going to be a racehorse. Get out! And don't you ever come in here again! Get out! It's all right, Domino. It's okay. Coming on, I guess. I can feel it in my bones. Mm 
Radio said we were due for a cold spell. Well, I was telling Jed Pease today that my rheumatism is... Jeff, honey, you interrupted your grandfather. I'm sorry, Gramps. That's all right. I was just telling your mother my rheumatiz is the best weatherman there is. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a poem. My rheumatiz is the best weatherman there is. <laughs> Mom, have you seen Lassie? No, why? Well, I was fixing her supper, and I got it fixed, and now I can't find her. Well, come to recollect, I, I don't think I've seen her myself all day. Did you look in the barn? She wouldn't be in the barn. Why not? She just wouldn't. Well, you better go look anyway and put and put on a jacket, honey. It's cold outside. Okay. You know, I'll bet that's the first time he's thought of that dog since he got the cold. I think you're right. Sit down. You remember when we first got Lassie and Gramps told us that the Lord makes animals just the same as he does human beings? Mm -hmm. Well, animals have feelings, too. Well, I don't know what you mean, Mom. Well, I'm not sure, darling, but I, I think you've hurt Lassie's feelings. You've neglected her ever since you got the cold. Twice you've forgotten to feed her. And something must have happened in the barn because you were so sure that she wouldn't be there. Well, Lassie frightened Domino, and I told her to get out and never to come in the barn again. How would you feel if I told you to get out of the house and never come back again? Well, I think that you didn't love me anymore. Oh, no! Lassie doesn't think that, does she, Mom? I'm afraid so, darling. Well, couldn't she have gone down to the carry farm or down to the lake for a drink? She sometimes goes down there without me. Maybe she did. You better get some sleep, darling, and I'm sure she'll be back in the morning.
is it, girl? What is it? Three in the morning. Well, his pajamas are here, so he must have dressed and gone out. The window's wide open. Now, listen, don't get yourself all upset now. Oh, it's my fault. I had a long talk with him about Lassie. And he must have gone out to look for it. I all know. alone. Look, Lassie's here. And Jeff's gone. That's what worries me. Now, listen, stop borrowing trouble, will you? I'll go and get some clothes on him. We'll find Jeff. Don't worry about it. Come on, Lassie. We'll find him. Boy's pretty tough these days. He'll be all right. Sure. He's got a bad cold, but a couple of days in bed will clear that up. Then you or me, we'd have pneumonia. Well, thanks very much, Doctor. I'll give you some medicine. Keep him off that ankle for a few days. And the next time you want to go for a swim, Jeff, try it on a hot summer day. I will. <laughs> Excuse me, Dad. Like an old bullfrog. <coughs> I guess you'll forgive me for being such a dope, but it wasn't Domino's fault. I just wanted you two to be friends. Okay, Lassie? <coughs> It'll be too darn quiet in here with you in bed. I thought maybe you'd like to make some noise on this kind of sound thing. Hey, Gramps, thanks. Stop talking. Your voice gives me the willies. And when the makers of Dandy Candy... <laughs> hey, you excuse me. I've got some chores to do. The Adventures of Speed Kelly, Jet Pilot. <laughs> 